going on everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Cooper and I are here um, to just kind of do this next video as kind of just life update video. Also wanted to give you guys a house tour of the new place since I have not done that yet. Cooper and I are, I'm prepared, I don't know about him, but we're prepared for the house tour. I just had to clean up a lot of poop. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna give you guys a house tour. Um, and the last couple of videos that I've had up on the channel have been like beautifully produced, very highly produced. I love the videos that we just did and I'm glad that you guys love them so much too. I had so much fun making them. But we're gonna get back to the roots. Let's kind of do like a little really unproduced <laughs> style video. Emma is filming here today so she always does an incredible job and she's going to um, make this video look as best as possible. But I'm gonna be here being my crazy unplanned self and uh, we're gonna go do the house tour. You ready, Coop? <gasps> Most annoying toy in the whole entire world. Like who, who created toys like this? So annoying. Okay, so we're gonna start here in the living room. So this is the main reason that I loved this place so much. And I don't know what it is, but I like, I was in New York. Love New York, it's beautiful, but something about it, I just felt so enclosed. And I think something that I need in a home is to just feel open. And like there's a lot of space. So in this place there's a lot of space. So if you guys can see really tall, massive ceilings in here. So not only is the ceiling high, but we do have a loft up there and then there's like a higher ceiling up there. So it does feel super, super open. And not only that, but I'll show you guys upstairs in a minute. You can literally see just for miles of ocean and sky and it's just the best. And I think I walked into here and I was like, oh, I need this place. It's white and again, I don't know. I just it doesn't, it doesn't feel like boxed in. It feels so just spacious. So first living room, um, I got this couch. This is like the best couch ever. I pretty much was just like, what's the best couch? Cooper does not like this situation. Uh oh, <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> was on Emma. You didn't make this in the video. Cooper, come here. He does not like this, wait, ready? He gets so mad at the motor. not like it. Yeah, he really doesn't like the power motor in the reclining chair, but we have it. Um, really great couch. It seats, like each of these chairs will seat like two people. So we've counted how many people we can sit in this place. And there's like 27 people you can sit in this place. We had a housewarming party. Anyway, there's lots of seating. I love the couch. Um, I really wanted like a really big couch and just to be able to be on there all the time and have friends stay over and stuff like that. So. Love the couch. I'll link everything to where I got it. I think this is either Living Spaces or Ashley Furniture. Um, this rug is from Overstock.com. Love it. We kind of wanted to go with like a cozy bohemian rather than like a white, sleek, hard-lined, modern feel. Like we wanted it to be like a little cozier. So this is like kind of the things that we end up choosing. This is from the last place. It's that same coffee table that just comes up like this. It's really messy, y'all. I didn't clean a whole lot for you guys. I just wanted it to be really real, raw, and uncut. I actually did clean a little bit, um, but I'm not the most clean person in the world. It's just, just, I could be better. It's fine. Um, anyways, what else do we got? Pillows, blankies, spot for snacks. Yeah, Emma's like, yeah, snacks. And cup holder. Cooper! Cooper! Stop. Cooper might need to go in the crate. <laughs> you need to go in your crate, little boy. Oh, flop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No pretending to be Cooper. Come here. My bone? Yes. No. Hold on, I'll get him. I have these like peanut butter bones for him. I'll get him. Mm. You guys can come with me to the kitchen as we move on. This is uh, just a little laundry area. And then, here you go, buddy. And then we have the kitchen. So kitchen's great. Just pretty regular sinks, storage, more storage, dog food, coffee makers. If you wanna go into the fridge, I actually forgot to tell you guys, I hired a chef and I will give you the reasons why. All this food that he made, this is like my lunch. Look how amazing. It's like a nice little meal prep lunch. Um, his name is Brent. And Brent is actually, I found him because Lewis House, if you guys follow Lewis's podcast, um, 
Lewis has a beautifully set up office and his podcast in his apartment for his podcast. So like those beautiful backdrops and murals and everything's really custom. So I was like, I want that for my office upstairs from when I film. And so I, con uh, Lewis got me in contact with this guy named Brent and he owns a design company. And I followed Brent on Instagram and we've been back and forth for a little bit. Like we haven't done anything up there yet, but he started posting about food. And I was like, do you cook for people? Like he was posting that he was for hire. And he was like, yeah, I'm also a private chef. I was like, that's great. So it's a, um, I don't know if he wants me to share his prices, but if you guys are interested and you live in LA, you can ask him, but it's not, su it's pretty affordable um, in terms of the amount of time that he has to spend preparing the meals and he charges hourly. And then the reason that I wanted to do it was that I had a meal prep service before. I felt like I really wanted to eat more whole foods, just like salads and stuff like that. And meal prep companies don't prepare salads and I wanted like fresh, not hot food, like cold salads and stuff like that. Um, and then I just wanted to get excited about the food and then also I hate cooking. I don't wanna cook. It's just a lot of energy and time um, when I'm, you know, my, my energy has to go to my business, to my clients, to my relationships, to my friends, to my dog. And then I just don't really wanna think about cooking. So what's end up happening is that I keep going to Sweet Green, I keep driving to go get food and stuff like that. Um, I just wanted to simplify my life and I wanted to automate and delegate my nutrition. Brent comes in every Monday, he cooks my food, he prepares it, he loves doing it, he loves being creative. He like he makes sure all he makes sure he makes sure all the meals have like the right amino acid profiles and health benefits and stuff that are all encompassing meals and I am obsessed with having a chef. It's not even funny. It's pretty affordable too. Like it's not something that's super crazy, especially if you are already doing meal prep services and stuff like that. So there's that. We have hodgepodge chairs from Emily and I combining furniture. <laughs> and then Cooper's crate is back there. And then we'll take you guys upstairs. Um, the rest of the living room is like, again, furniture that we didn't really know what to do with. Like this was a TV stand. We have a TV here, so we don't need a TV stand. So it kind of just becomes a junk table. We're still moving things around. This may or may not be a corner for Emily who's getting a electric spin bike. That might happen. Dog bowls and stuff like that so the dogs don't have to eat on the ground so it doesn't um, hurt their neck over the long term. Dog food, I got this on Amazon. It says, dog, a BFF for life, ruler of the household. <laughs> See also, rough. <laughs> I thought this was cute, it just houses Cooper's food. Um, and then we have a wood burning fireplace, which is really nice, we've only used it once. <laughs> Moving forward, we're gonna go upstairs now. This place has so many. I need to get like an Apple Watch to track my steps because I can't even tell you how many times I'm like up here and I forget something and then I'm like, oh crap, gotta go downstairs. This room is going to be the office. Right now, it's kind of just the room where we put all the extra furniture that we didn't know what to do with. So we kind of work up here, but a lot of the time I'll end up working downstairs. Um, but this is like the loft office essentially. So this table was from my old place. It's just like dining room table. It doesn't really need to be here. Again, we're gonna be moving things out as we get the new office space decorated for filming. And then this is a couch, old couch from my old place. It pulls out, um, place where friends can stay, stuff like that. When Elise stayed at my place, she slept here, pull out couch, um, she loved it. And then you can see, looking this way, we can also open those windows. I'm not sure where the remote is, but those lines go up. It gets really hot in the middle of the day, so I kind of keep them closed because the sun comes right in there. But um, it's really nice if I'm just like sitting here on my laptop, looking at Cooper, just like looking out when I'm working, it's like really nice. But the other problem with the loft is that um, if you're working and like I'm on a meeting or I'm coaching and Emily's down there, the sound really transfers. So that's something that we're gonna be working on as we start filming here and stuff. And there's like construction everywhere. So it's kind of like loud in here. So Brent <laughs> is gonna be helping that out with that as we move forward. There's also a random projector in here that someone from the last place had. And apparently, we don't know how to hook it up, but we're gonna try one day, we will. And then we also have the big mirror here. <laughs> and <laughs> Cooper, shh. <laughs> this is just like the life. Um, big mirror is here now, so selfie mirror. What's up, Emma? <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the selfie mirror goes. And then, oh, buddy. Here you. <laughs> a 
actually you guys the best part of the house now this is again one of the main reasons that i wanted to live here because i was like holy shit come outside into the most beautiful location in the whole world so this is our outside patio it is absolutely amazing up here you can see the venice canals here the beaches over there the mountains are over there and it's just like a place to there's also construction um but it's just a place where i like to read i like to meditate i like to get away i'll take naps up here sometimes and it's just absolutely beautiful up here so ah, i love it again we have a, we have like little um outdoor furniture and we have a pup so sometimes again i'll just come up here and lay relax read meditate stuff like that and i absolutely love it up here we're gonna again try to make this like a little bungalow with lighting and little twinkle lights um maybe make it look cuter maybe do something with the fence we'll figure it out but we're still working on actually decorating it takes a long time if anyone has any recommendations this is it so i love it up here downstairs is bedrooms i'll just show you my bedroom and the bathroom emily's in her room i think working so down here is the bathroom um this is my bathroom it's like the messier bathroom don't care um it just has like a big mirror and then there's also like a heat fan up here which is cool it's not a fan i mean it is a fan but it's a uh, more of a heater so there's heater in here which is good um just you know it's a bathroom <laughs> just a bathroom and then my room is here welcome so i have um my old bed I did ask people on Instagram for a new comforter recommendation. I got one from Amazon. Um, no, don't like it. <laughs> if anyone has a better comforter recommendation, not that it's bad. Um, I want like a cloud. Like I want like a thick, fluffy, but also not heavy and warm. Like I want it to be one of those like light cold ones, but like really thick and fluffy. Like this is pretty thin. I would say it's like not super thick. It's just like pretty thin and it's not really fluffy. So it's fine. But um, yeah, I just want like a really thick comforter. It's so bad. I just want it to feel like a cloud. Like when you go to the hotel and hotels have just those like thick comforters. So looking for that. Um, I do have a rug here. I don't really like when bedrooms don't have rugs and don't mind like the random dog toys. <laughs> I just don't like when my feet go in the bed and there's like dirty floor. It's just yucky. Um, dresser and stuff same as the last place that I had and then some pillows dresser and then there's also a balcony out here which is really nice for Cooper because he likes to kind of come out here in the morning so I love the balcony out here so it's like some nice fresh airflow and then there's a random TV that was installed in the last for the last person that was here that I don't use so it's just kind of there which is fine I don't like watch TV in bed but it's fine hey Coop Hi, buddy. Let's go. Get your dirty feet off. Good boy. Okay. Okay, quick cut of this clip. I know I'm wearing something different, but the video ended and I got my new duvet cover in the mail, which I love. It looks like pink and purple and blue watercolor, which are like my favorite colors. And I got this from um, the duvet cover. It's just a duvet, so it's not the comforter. And ideally, I have my cloud duvet inside of this. But I got this from Society6, which is a website where all local artists or just artists in general can upload their art and then it can get put on duvet covers and pillows and bath mats and stuff like that. So um, wall tapestries and anything that you really want. So Society6 is where I got the duvet cover and I can like get matching pillows and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you guys that quick. Back to the video. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the house tour specifically. And in terms of just life update, I guess you could say, um, moved in here with Emily and just been really focusing on friendships and business and Cooper. Business stuff is going really good. Lots of crazy fun changes have been happening inside of the business. Not anything that you guys um, are seeing really externally, but just it's gonna be a lot more of just me stepping up. I have this funny story that I tell myself and I'm gonna talk about this in future videos. The stories that we tell ourselves will limit us because we essentially just think things about ourselves, right? And we create limits surrounding, uh, surrounding them. So one of my stories is that I don't want to disappoint anybody because I'm scared and I'm fearful that I'm gonna disappoint people. And then also I was putting myself in the, I'm young, I'm 24. There's a lot of incredible people around me doing really amazing things all the time. 
Um, I'm, I'm involved in a couple of mastermind groups. So just a lot of successful people, right? And for me, I'm young, I'm 24. I've only actually been doing this business for about a year, although I've been building my audience for the last four and doing YouTube and just kind of learning as I go. And parts of me are like, you know, I'm not super experienced. I would love some help and support. But what that kind of turned into is just me leaning on that too much and relying on it a little bit too much over here. And the part of me over here that really wants to step into being a leader and you know, stepping into that role of just being a powerful CEO and leader in my business for my team and for my audience. And when I step up, other people have permission to step up as well. And I really noticed that. And when I don't step up and I kind of just lean on everybody else, it just, it creates this like instability I, I see from the bird's eye view of just, you know, no one else feels the permission to kind of step up in their own right if I'm not doing that. And I feel like that's my responsibility. So things internally have shifted a little bit, but all for the better. And I'm so excited to kind of just get back to this. You guys have known that I haven't really been um, super focused on just talking to you guys, making videos like this, from just kind of being me and being flowy. And it's because my creative energy has just been like, fucking sucking lately to be honest um, and it's because of that internal thing that was going on in here I'll talk about it probably a little bit more on the podcast or in a different video if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section if you want to if you're like interested in hearing this story because it's kind of a long story so if you want to know about it just please let me know because I'll make a longer video about it but all you guys have to know is that a lot of good things are coming I know it's so annoying when people say that but for real um, my goal is to be able to get back to this and I will be able to do that when I kind of just get things inside of my business flowing more smoothly, which just kind of means systematizing what I have going on, um, making it a little bit easier for everybody else to do their jobs. Why need you pee? Cooper peed in the middle of my serious talk. So we're gonna end the video there and just let you guys know that you have a lot of exciting things to look forward to. Um, but the house tour is gonna end here and Cooper and I are gonna make some more videos for you this afternoon. So I'll catch you guys in those and I'll talk to you later. See ya.